Hey, good morning, peeps, and welcome back to the channel. Salvation Army, we're basically just impatiently waiting for them to open because nothing is open yet. We also have packages that I have to go to the post office, but the post office isn't open yet. We have the package that needs to be dropped off at UPS. They're also not open yet. Nothing is open yet. Well, here we go. We very, very rarely thrift on the weekends, so I'm not having super high hopes. Oh, that's pretty. Jeez, not for ten bucks. It's not old. It's on a canvas tag, but Hurts is still about it. It's cool. I like it. Yeah, he said no. The first one that popped up was like seven bucks. What is this? Cookie jar. Of course it is. I love cookie jars. They just don't sell. Oh, sucks it doesn't have its dust jacket. Ready player two. Oh man. <laughs> what? Oh, I thought this one was that. It doesn't. What is it? I don't get it though. No, it's just weird. Oh, I got excited when I seen the little Halloween pumpkin and the rest of these are just weird. Ooh. What are you? It's modern, I think, maybe? Twenty-five doll hairs. Jeez, and I'm pretty sure it is a modern vase. It's cool though, but not for 25 bucks. What is it? Is it just hanging art glass? Because it's got a hole in the bottom. <laughs> I don't get it. I it is. It's like, just, I don't know. That's weird. But are they? No, I don't believe they are. They are not radon. They look like radon. Yeah, but they are pops. They are not radon. I don't think that they are. Well, so far just one book. With very low margins. That's a build bear Where? The blue one. Oh, shit. This one. Pretty sure it is. Wait, 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 wait. What does that say? Three dollars? Yeah, it is. I wonder what the snowflake represents. Might want to look him up. Uh, this one's some kind of bunny. Bunny build a bear. Ooh, look at his feet. Bert says this one's not selling for much, and he found a big stain right there. So unfortunately, that guy's stain. He's trying to find the rabbit right now. I guess no on the build bears but there's no, like, tag. That's what I'm not understanding with this. There's no tag because this is something somebody handmade. So this is made. Well, then I don't know how we would sell it. Know, it's very yeah, this, unique, though. This is something somebody made. For certain. And checking out. Garage sale season has officially started. And nope, this is us reversing out of there real quick. Those prices were high. Look at my giant haul. That's it. That's all I got. Would you guys look at that view? Oh my gosh, such a nice day out today. There was a curb alert that was listed on Facebook, and it's so nice out today. We decided to go check it out. I don't know. It was listed two hours ago, so we don't know if anything's even left, but... Why not? It's beautiful out. We'll just go for a drive. Well, the couple of things that I was really excited about are no longer here. But, I did see this first aid kit thing. Creamer first aid kit. Oh, and it's full of stuff. It's never full of stuff. I definitely will take that. Bonanza. Creamer. It's got like melted plastic on it or something. I'm curious though because this first aid kit is also creamer. 
so I feel like I want that. <laughs> it's about to break, too, right there. It's really close to breaking. Can you just take it? Because yeah, I want it and it's free. Oh, they know people so well. Huh. Huh. But right down the road, a whole bunch of puzzles. <laughs> Rich is like, that one's got penguins and a refrigerator. I want that one. I'm probably going to take them all. Challenging. Yeah, let's take yeah, them all. Yeah, we're just going to take them all. Let's just take them all. Look at this little doggies. Yeah, that's cute. Little doggies. We're just going to take them all. Weekend vlog style. Uh, I got an offer for a porch pickup on this piece. It's always nice when I don't have to ship fragile things. So I'm going to stick this in a bag and I'm going to set it out for a porch pickup. She's supposed to be here at some point today for 10 bucks. I don't know. And then I also got to stick a chair out here. Yeah, you guys might remember this chair. This is one I was so excited about at that estate sale. Um, I like ran to it. I thought it was so neat. I love the color. It's got the right amount of shabby chic. It's sturdy. It's a cool freaking chair. Uh, pending porch pickup for $18 today. So hopefully those two things get picked up and we might add one more thing to the pile. I always have to be aware of what's going on in the background around me. Rich is like swearing at his phone. Keegan's stuck trying to get his laundry down. Anyway, I'm not going to go completely crazy today with boxing, but we do have a few things that have sold. I am going to box this up, but you know what? Just as me being me, I forgot to even look. I don't know what I sold this for. 18 I sold it for $18 on Mercari. I picked this up at an estate sale last year. Might have been the year before. It's been like a year, at least, maybe a year and a half since I purchased these. I thought they would sell better. I just suck at purchasing hats that are going to sell. This one finally sold on Mercari for $18 plus the cost of shipping. Check it out. I sold my Steamboat Willie Mickey Mouse knitted plush. I picked this up at Salvation Army. I think I paid four bucks for him. He didn't last too long, like a month, maybe two. And I sold him for $25 plus cost of shipping on Etsy. So I'm going to get this guy ready to go. And then you're probably going to laugh. But these are the puzzles that we picked up yesterday. I have this table and I've got a couple of hours before Rich gets back. And some of these are only 500 pieces. So I'm going to challenge myself a little bit here. I'm going to go through these. I don't think I can do a thousand pieces in a couple of hours. That's cutting it a little short. But you have to put these puzzles together to show that they're complete before you can really sell them for any kind of money. That might be this one. That's a 500 piece, is it? No, it's 750 plus it's a Christmas one. So I should probably put this with my Christmas stuff. I've got this crate going that's winter and Christmas. They put a note on this that says challenging, good eyesight needed because pieces fit multiple places. It is a 500 piece, but maybe challenging isn't what I'm going for. I'm kind of going for I can get it done before Rich gets home. And then we're going to go look at a partial estate clear out. A friend of mine's. Oh, here's one. Oh, and it's dogs. I'm going to do that one. My ADD is strong today. Okay, so I'm going to do this puzzle, or at least attempt to do this puzzle, before Rich gets home, because then we have to run to do an estate look-see, clear-out type ordeal. I don't know if we're taking anything, but it is a friend of mine's family member, so I'm probably not going to uh, video there, um, but we'll see. My chair is gone. Rich just informed me that uh, there's money under that. And then he just stuck this shabby shelf that we garbage picked outside. It's supposed to get picked up for $15 around 2 I think. Alright, I'm back. We didn't find any like super bangers, but we found some stuff. This I thought was interesting. Bible challenge. Some knowledge is trivial, some is eternal. Um, there's another vintage Scrabble down there. And a vintage backgammon. Got... A tiny TV and this desk lamp, a bunch of framed photos. I'll go over there and kind of show you what those are. Oh, this is a Longa Burger. Longa Burger. Anyway, back to these. These are just some like stitched, framed pieces that I thought were kind of neat. And then these are more art related. 
this one's super pretty. I love this one. This is probably the favorite thing other than some clothing that is also rad. Got some hangers. I got some five pound and some three pound weights, a DVD player, and a whole laundry basket full of vintage clothing. And I think all this stuff is just vintage Christmas stuff. And then Rich grabbed that for the Mustang for the summer. So like I said, it wasn't a ton of stuff, but there's some things that we'll make some money on. And then some of these, like this shirt, I think there's two of them. Brickyard 400, this is all embroidered, embroidered. Indianapolis Motor Speedway, August 5th, 1995. And I've got two of those. So those are exciting. I don't know what they're worth, but they're cool. And now I'm going to get back to working on this puzzle so I get it done before I go to bed. We've got garbage route in two hours, so I'm going to do as much of this as I can. We're about to run out the door because we got to go do the garbage route. But look, puzzle number one is complete. All the pieces are there. Nothing is missing. So I'm going to take pictures of this really, really fast. And that way I can list it for sale. Well, that didn't take long. I seen something cool. Man, the wind is just whipping right now. And it's got tools in it. Cool. But Rich doesn't have to come get that because that looks heavy. Clue. Today's like the day of games. There's another scene in the bottom. He's so excited about the tools. Looks like my mom's getting some uh, plant stuff. It does appear that all the pieces are there. This is like from the 80s. There is a giant crack on the side, so we're gonna leave this one, but he said that they got like a playhouse in the back or something that we're just going to look at. It's like the day for kids stuff. <laughs> Gosh. Hmm, something wood. Uh, it's yeah, a bed it's a bed platform. Captain's bed, I think is what they call it. There might be something else though, I see something there. Oh, they were just like crappy throw pillows. So much kid stuff being thrown out. Ooh, and fencing. That's the same kind of thing that we use. Hmm. He grabbed the fencing, but there must be something wrong with the pots. Yeah, I know it's a weird time to uh, restock sleds, but I sold the big thick one that I had. Well, actually, both big thick ones that I had. Let me get this out of here. Like this thing is stuck on it. There we go. Yes, yeah, a, a good one. I will only pick up sleds if they're the like heavy duty kind. I always get excited when there's a pile, even if I don't know what's in it. Jeez, this one's like a ready made yard sale. Yeah, that's freaking pretty. That's a koala? It's a bean bag of some sort. I don't know if I want to take the bean bag. These are neat. There's like a whole friggin' slew of them in there. Look at all that. All that These are also very cool. Oh, look at those candlestick holders. Thing. Yeah, I want that whole crate. This bag, I think, is clothing. Yes, clothing. Yeah, it's like a wall hanger. Yeah, make sure it's not big. Well, this is more decor stuff. Yeah. I mean, whatever. I'll send it back if I don't yeah. take it. Yeah. Donate whatever I don't want. Yeah, like I can already see stuff in there I want. Mystery bag. Yeah, there's stuff in there I want. This is a 
bag of other bags. That seems to be Christmas stuff I don't want. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, that's the base for the Christmas tree part that I've seen over there. Any of that. If I can find the other pair, or the other, I can see it. Nope, that is different. <laughs> That's brown. This is black. Wait, are that those are different too? I think. But these, okay, that and that is a pair. We got two pairs. No. No, we don't. Now we have two pairs. I think. Okay, I think that's all the stuff I want. Alright, it's another pretty decent sized pile. Right off rip, I see a popcorn machine and I'm pretty sure a crab trap. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a crab, oh my gosh, it's a crab trap coffee table. And I'm definitely taking the popcorn machine, whatever this thing is back here. Oh wow, those are so pretty. That, my friends, is a freaking Hager vase. It's a newer Hager, but it is indeed Hager. There is a wooden ladder under there. I'm just not sure I can get it out. Oh my gosh. It's like a giant Connect Four outdoor game. <laughs> no! And now it's downpouring in that trunk. Oh, we didn't even show you the trunk. Antique trunk is in the freaking trailer. Oh, the poor trunk. Well, we grabbed the trunk as quickly as we could, and this was also in the trailer, and it's a, that, it's a whole bag full of DVDs and VHSs, and I'm pretty sure water got in it. I'm so bummed. Well, this person decided that they aren't coming, but the planter lady did come before it started downpouring. So I do have $10 for the planter. <sighs> One out of, th or two out of three ain't bad, I guess. I think I lucked out. There's like very, very, very minimal water. Like very minimal. I think I'm okay. We have a break in the rain, so we're trying to hurry. Uh, the fence we're probably gonna keep. You know, I grabbed this popcorn machine and I'm not even certain that the cord's in there. So I'm hoping that the cord's in there. Uh, we grabbed that vise and the sled. And I'm not kidding when I say we are cram-packed in here. I'm not going to be able to show you everything. But we've got Afghan blankets. We've got hoodies. We've got dog toys. We've got decorations. This box, I don't even remember what's in it. We've got so many wall hangings. I did not show you, like, this crock that was in a box. There's just so much stuff. So much stuff. So we have to get at least enough out of here to put the seats up because we got to take Keegan to school in the morning. So on that note, I'm going to sign you guys off so I can do this real quick. And then I got to go make dinner and then I got to shower and it's a whole freaking thing. So later.